do you have faith in Tua Tagovailoa in the big games, in the big moments, on the big drives to come through? Or do you think it's going to be much of the same where something goes wrong? This was such a bad finish to the end of the season for the Dolphins. The Dolphins, it seemed more or less had the one seed locked. And really, if you look back, all they had to do was win one of their last five games and they would have won the division. I mean, they go zero and five. They lose to the Titans. I guess they did beat the Jets, but then you lose, you beat the Cowboys, you lose to the Ravens, you lose to the Bills. Like it's just, it's not a satisfying way to end the season. And I'm sure sticking out in their head is going to be that brutal loss to the Bills at home. Well, so, the, I mean, the Titans the one is the one that I keep going back to. Yeah, but it's suck. just, yeah, both of those losses, the two bad home losses are tough. So I don't know. There's so much to like about this Dolphins team, and that's what's so frustrating. The offense, even though it's let them down in big moments, still is really good. They're so good at passing, right? They've got the best weapons in the NFL in the passing game. They've got the best rushing offense in the NFL. You could argue they have two top five running backs on their team playing at the same time. So the defense, it's been up and down, but there's a lot to like. It's just so hard to believe in this team after everything we've seen. And I hate buying into those storylines, right? I hate when people say like, oh, this team is really good, but they're bad against teams over 500. Because the team's a team, right? You've got to be good to win NFL games. It's just, it's tough for me to believe that they're going to be able to get it done in Arrowhead against an angry Chiefs team, given all the struggles they've had this year. Look, to me, it comes down to, uh, this is similar to the Texans. I'm rooting for the Dolphins to win this game, but I don't, I've lost my faith in Tua. It's, it's, It's unfortunate because he has these spectacular moments, but then you see in these big big games against the Bills, uh, against the Bills, against the Ravens, he just started crumbling. You know, he makes one mistake, and next thing you know, he's getting sacked. A bunch of risky throws that could be intercepted. Uh, Eagles game, big drive, throws an interception. Chiefs game, misses the throw to Wilson. Bills game just here to win the division, throws a pick. It's the same story every single time with Tua, and Zach said it a couple times on the show. He gets sacked a couple times, and all of a sudden something seems to go off in his head where he loses his confidence and he starts making a lot of decisions, a lot of throws that you don't normally see from him and he's just a little bit off. And at the end of the day, in in a playoff game like this, when you have other guys like Patrick Mahomes, like Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson, if you win, you have to go face them. Those are quarterbacks who make the big play. They improvise, they get out of the pocket and they make spectacular things happen to a We'll take the sacks. And that's when they get behind the chains. They make mistakes. And and we see Miami, who should have been the two seed. There's no reason. Uh, the one seed I get, you go to Baltimore. That's a tough game no matter what. The Ravens, to me, felt destined to be the one seed this year. But Miami should be hosting playoff games this year. I think they're one of the biggest disappointments in football at the end of the day. And it's sad to say that because they had such a good season. And like It was the best Dolphins year and, and what, 30 years we talked about on the show? Th- like 30 years maybe for the Dolphins? And you're the the sixth seed? Like that just, that could not have been the case. Like it, it sucks that this fairy tale of a year is now turning pedestrian. Um, but that's because in big moments, Tua doesn't come through. And I like the guy a lot. I think he's a, gr- a really good quarterback. But when it matters, he doesn't make the play. I, I, don't, I don't have any faith in the Dolphins to win this one, even though I do expect a good game. 